the use object in Microsoft Graph just got a new addition today that's going to be very useful. And that's the last successful sign-in date for the sign-in activity. Now, what it's going to contain is the last time a user signed in successfully into the tenant. And this is going to be stored in the use object. So it's not impacted by the 30-day limit uh, that you get from the sign-in logs. Um, a quick thing to note is that this will only populate from the 1st of December. So only sign-ins that happened after the 1st of December are being recorded in this attribute. Now, there used to be, uh, there still is this other field called the last sign-in date and time, but that includes failed attempts as well. So if you only want to find out the last time a user successfully signed into your tenant, you'll be wanting to use this new field. Right, so let's see how this works. Let me head over to Graph Explorer. Now I'm going to switch to the beta endpoint because that's where this is still available. You can use this against any use object. I'm just going to do it against my uh, against the me slash me. So we say select a sign in activity and we run this query. You will now be able to see the last successful sign in date and time of the user. And you can do this against all use objects. Now a couple of points about this attribute. The sign in activity for um, the user object, this requires a premium license. So you need to have enter ID P1 or P2 and the appropriate permission to be able to read this. Hope you found this useful. Remember to hit follow or subscribe to get more videos like this. Cheers.